Hey, this is Presh Walker. Here's a fun little puzzle. ABCD multiplied by four is equal to DCBA. Each letter is a different digit from zero to nine, and you have to solve for the value of each letter. I thank everyone who suggested the puzzle to me. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So where do we begin? Let's start out by solving for the letter A. Notice that 3,000 times 4 is equal to 12,000, which is a 5-digit number. But we need the result to be a 4-digit number. So it's not possible for A to be a value that's 3 or larger. The result would be too big. So we need A to be less than 3, which means A is equal to 0, 1, or 2. Then we have D times 4 is equal to A. So we have a number times 4 is equal to A, which means that A is an even number. So we know that A is equal to 0 or 2. So now let's eliminate the possibility of 0. We'll look at the times table for 4. So we need the last digit to be equal to 0. So D is equal to 0, but we've already used 0. So we could have 20, where the last digit is 0, and that would mean D is equal to 5. So if A were 0, D would be 5. But then, what's the largest number we could have if the leading digit is 0? It would be 985 multiplied by 4, and that results in 3,940. So it doesn't get up to 5,000. So we know A equals 0, D equals 5 cannot be a possibility, so we eliminate it, and that means A must be equal to 2. Now from here, if a is equal to 2, we'll go ahead and pull up our times table again, and we need the units digit to be equal to 2. So one possibility is 12, and then we would have d is equal to 3. The other possibility is 32, and then we would have d is equal to 8. So d is either 3 or 8. Now, 2,000 times 4 is equal to 8,000, so we know that d cannot be equal to 3. That'll be too small. So we must have D is equal to 8. So A is equal to 2 and D is equal to 8. We can now transform the problem into an algebraic expression. A, B, C, D is the same as A times 1000 plus B times 100 plus C times 10 plus D. We want to multiply this by 4 and the result will be D times 1000 plus C times 100 plus B times 10 plus A. We'll now go ahead and work through we know that A is equal to 2 and D is equal to 8, so we substitute in. We can then simplify this, and then we can cancel out and group like terms. So let's simplify this. We have 8,000 on both sides, then we have 30 minus 2, so that'll be equal to 30. Then we bring over 400B minus 10B and 40C minus 100C, so we get 390B minus 60C plus 30 is equal to 0. We divide both sides of the equation by 30. We get 13b minus 2c plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we might as well solve for b. So we get b is equal to 2c minus 1 all over 13. So we know that 2c minus 1 has to be divisible by 13. So we only need to work through a few possibilities. So if 2c minus 1 is equal to 0, we could have 2c minus 1 is equal to 13. 2c minus 1 is equal to 26. Let's work out some values for c. So in the first case, c would be equal to 0.5. We can't have that. Second case, c is equal to 7. That could be a possibility. In the next case, we have c is equal to 13.5. And any further multiple will be larger. So that will be larger than a single digit. We can't have that. Therefore, we have c is equal to 7, which means, substituting in, we get that b is equal to 1. So we figured it out. a is equal to 2, d is equal to 8, c is equal to 7, and b is equal to 1. We'll just go ahead and substitute this into our original puzzle, and we do in fact verify this is a solution. 2,178 times 4 is equal to 8,712. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.